cluster with Nick Kotenbrook. In this video, we're going to be learning about sessions, middleware, and how to do a proper login with Express. The reason why we're not doing it with Socket Cluster is to keep the usernames and passwords and everything away from the client, because with Socket Cluster and Spa, everything's client side, and you don't want to have usernames and passwords in the client. Okay, so how I'm doing this is I'm using four libraries: Crypto to encrypt the passwords, Client Sessions to store the data on the browser, and then Body Parser and Cookie Parser. Cookie Parser is a requirement for client sessions, and Body Parser is how you pull the data out of the body when you post a um, request. Okay, so we add those four libraries there. We need to mount the sessions, cookie parser, body parser, and, and um, the URL encoded. And this allows you to get JSON and URL encoded data out of the out of the body. And the cookie parser is required for session. So we're storing it in the session variable on the request object. Um, and we're storing it for one day. And that's how you mount it using middleware. And our custom middleware right now here, we're mounting using Express, um, the method app.use. And what we're doing is we're grabbing the URL, we're checking to see if there's a user. If there is a user, then we check to see if they're going for the session create um, URL. And if they are, we redirect to the main page because that means they're already logged in. Otherwise, we continue going through whatever URL they're asking for. And the opposite is true if they're if they're not logged in, except for we mount, we um, pass an error message saying, hey, you know you can't access the area you must you must be logged in simple as that we also added three new routes we have the session create route which is just a page allows us to log in simple like this we uh, have a post route where we post the data to the server we grab it we encrypt the password we check their uh, for their uh, email on the database we verify the password and the email and return messages based on on whether the passwords match the username matches and, and so on from there uh, and then we also have the destroy route, which allows us to destroy the session, essentially logging them out, and then we redirect to the login page. And then we have a catch-all here. So if they try to do anything that's not registered, they are redirected to the main page, which and then if they're not logged in, it will redirect them again to session create. Okay, it's pretty simple. It's not, not that complicated. So let's take a look at what it actually does. Let's watch it. So here, we, if you remember from our uh, last couple videos, we had these few emails here. So we'll, pat, we'll log in here, username and password. See, it brings us to our main page, and we can check out all of our stuff on the spa. Try and go to the session create page. It redirects us to the main page, as you see. Try to go to some garbage page, like this, redirects us to the main page, so we can control where the user is trying to go. If you log out, it creates us to the session create page. Try again to go to the main page there, it redirects to session create, and it says you must be logged in to access that area. Once again, if you remember, we go back to the middleware and we say if they're not logged in and they try to do something other than the session create or session store, we you must be logged in and it redirects to the session create. Session create grabs those messages, deletes them off the session, and passes them into the, the jade. This is what the jade looks like. If there's an error, it, it um, shows it. If there's a message, it doesn't show it. Or does show it, excuse me. And here's the form that we use to post to the, d the database. Or excuse me, the uh, the worker, and here's the two form uh, form fields and the submit button. Simple as that. We're just using Bootstrap. Nothing too complicated. Not that complicated. And there we go. That's pretty simple. Um, it forces users to go where you want them to go based on their their session. And of course, you can mount a lot more data on the session. This is just a simple login. Um, you can control how long you want them to go. Uh, you can also control your session secret, which, by the way, don't put that up in GitHub. Store it in your environmental um, file here. You'll see I just have a simple... Re don't use pass1234 as your password for your database, please. Um, <laughs> just use a secure password and then come up with a secure session password, session secret. So simple as that. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them uh, below. And uh, thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe if you are interested in more videos. Thanks.